Hi there, this is Abhishek and welcome to my channel R Video Tutorials where I share the video tutorials related to R programming and to get the new video information directly in your inbox you can subscribe to my channel and get pretty much uh, daily on a daily basis the new video that I am uploading on this channel. Alright, so let's go ahead and see uh, the video or the topic for the today and the topic that I'm going to cover is the creating a data frame within the dplyr. R. So you might have seen the data frame already if you are doing the programming in R that you can have a data frame. So for example, iris is one of the data frame. So if I see the structure of iris, then it is a data frame. Then what is the need of creating a data frame which is related to or in the deep layer why they have given us a new another way of creating a data frame well this is to basically see the data frame in a much better way so for example currently you are seeing the structure of a data frame or if i just press iris over here for a normal data frame all of my observation will be shown so right now it is 150 observations and suppose if it has 15,000 observations, then it will be showing you all of that information. But the this data frame, which you will create with the help of the function tbl underscore df, is much more user friendly and presents you the information in a much better way so that a user will get an idea. So generally, to restrict the information, you use the head for a normal data frame. So if I say head of iris then this is how you will see the first six observations so let's go ahead and uh, create a data frame for uh, with the help of this tbl underscore df function for the deep layer so for that uh, let's create uh, iris underscore maybe deep layer table data frame that's what i would just say to create a new one and I will just specify tbl underscore df and then iris. All right. Once I do that, my object is present iris underscore dtdf. And if I just simply go ahead iris underscore dtdf and press enter, you will see that it's not like a normal data frame where earlier, once we have uh, pasted the iris in the command as a as a data frame it has shown us all the 150 observations but here in this case it has just shown us the 10 observations along with that you can see that uh, it is showing you the data type information below to the name of the field so that's one way another thing is uh, if you look at the structure of a normal which i showed you earlier structure of iris then that's how the information was coming with a for with the name of the column and number whether the number or factor variable and how it is you have the function which is glimpse so glimpse is basically saying uh, the same thing show you the structure for the data frame data table that is in the uh, deploy or so in, once i enter it also shows the same information but but in a little bit nicer way if i uh, tell you so if you have a lot of variables so maybe let's say in case of str empty cars i just show these many variables which are there and if i convert empty cars underscore df into tbl underscore df and pass on empty cars and then say glimpse empty cars underscore df empty cars underscore df then it's a similar information but little bit in a much more useful way along with the how many variables like in this case you have 32 observations 11 variables and it shows it has 32 variables 11 variables and particularly useful when you have a lot of factor variables which is shown like uh, uh, not shown properly with the help of str uh, command 
can be shown very easily or in a nicer way using the glimpse function. So you can try it out on, on your data frames which are complex enough and see how the difference is coming so that you know when to use each one in your case. So coming back to the command with the function uh, tbl underscore df which converts the data frame like we earlier converted iris underscore dttf. So uh, it shows 10 observations but if you have some requirement that it shows a little bit more or less then probably you can use the print command print you can say iris underscore dttf n is equals to maybe 5 if you want so that way you show it can show 5 information or if you want 20 rows that's what you want to see then you can specify n is equals to 20 and it can show you more information apart from that uh, if I sh show you the the empty cars data frame empty cars underscore df which we converted into a table data frame using the dplyr table tbl underscore df function earlier and if I hit enter then you will see that <coughs> it will not show all the variable it's because of it looks at the screen size so here at the end it is showing us information with 22 more rows that means the data set has 22 more rows and one more variable which is carb so that is not shown because screen size is not allowing so in that case this data frame or this table is useful but uh, generally we want to see all of that information so if i can expand towards right a little bit and run the command again i think it will show you all of that information but if that's not the case that you don't want to adjust and you want to see it then probably you can use the command which is again now print saying empty cars underscore df and then width is equals to and just specify infinity and hit enter so it looks like i gave the inf object incorrectly capital i so if i show you i and f that's basically the object is infinity and once I press, it shows us all of the column so similarly you can use print uh, for showing all the rows where you can instead of specifying it just say n is equals to infinity and it will show you all of the rows within this empty cars underscore df so that's pretty much about it uh, the tbl underscore df function and how you can uh, modify it to see the all the rows or n number of columns or n number of rows which is available in your data set and make quite a use of it i will just suggest that you go through all of this uh, different information which is given over here it's quite a nice information along with some other functions which i have already explained like filter select arrange summarize all of that is given on the data frame uh, that they have converted into a deep layout data frame so that's pretty much all i have uh, in this video and to get such topics directly in your inbox you can always subscribe to my channel